Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ross with Cellurite. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom form in Cellurite that you can use pretty much anywhere. And specifically, you can use it in your calendar to ask people specific questions when they want to book a new meeting. So if we are in the, we're in the sites tab, and then at the top, we're going to click forms. And it's going to bring us to the form builder where we can click create new form. And this is going to be a similar kind of drag and drop interface that you might be familiar with after using some of the other resources across site, right? Well, ba basically what we're going to do is just drag and drop a few of the different things that we want to ask people like their name, email, and phone number. We're going to make sure that the name is required. The email is required. We're going to make the phone optional. And then we could have a couple more, you know, pretty kind of standard things, maybe like company name, organization. Let me change this to company name. That could be something that's required. So something like this would be pretty simple and straightforward. And where we can kind of take this to the next level is with our custom fields option. So custom fields allow us to kind of ask whatever, whatever we want. So in this scenario, if we wanted to ask people if they're interested between a few different options, we could easily do that. So the, when we cl click create, add a custom field, it gives us all these different types of fields that we can do that we can use to create different types of data. So for instance, in this scenario, we want people to be able to only select one option and that would be a radio. So that's like the little circles that people can select and put a little dot in the circles. And so we're going to name this, um, let's see, like interested fields, whatever that may be. And these are going to be the different options. So we're going to want to do, um, let's do marketing. site development and we'll do SEO. Click save. And so this will bring another option in here that we can drag and drop in. And now you can see that there's the three little options in here to change. So let's say, and this is, this is kind of confusing. So let's say you're like, ah, oh, I want to, I want to add more. I want to change, change things. The custom field is a global, it's a global piece of data that is used in a lot of different places. So for instance, people that like, this is a very powerful selection. We can make automations based off these selections. We can do custom audiences based off these selections, et cetera. So having, having a custom field is a global entity that is not edited or changed within the form section. It's actually edited and changed within the general settings. So if you wanted to add an option to this custom field that we just created, or if you wanted to change the name of, let's say the marketing option, what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings. Oh, let's save our work first. We're going to go into settings and then we're going to see this custom fields tab right here under other settings. And this is going to show us the option in the custom field that we just made. So if we click the little, uh, the little pen icon next to here, this now allows us to change and add different options. So we can come in here and do advertising. And then we could do like, what are you most interested in? We do something like that and click save and this will update the field, but this now won't update the form. We need to go back and update the form. So if we go back to our form, we can see that the advertising was updated. If it doesn't automatically update, like you can see how the, uh, the title wasn't updated. We need to exit here and then we're going to go under custom fields and then we're going to re add it back. And now you can see that the title is updated and all four options have been updated. So we can save the form here, click save. And now this form, let's make sure we name it. So we'll do, uh, 
opt-in form, or you want to name it, you can name it. There's also a, a ton of different options here where you can add in your uh, Facebook pixel ID to do tracking and on submission, do different things. By default with a calendar, it's going to show just a thank you message, which is the easiest to get started with. Afterwards, you can create custom landing pages to, um, for, you know, post after they have successfully booked a meeting, you can send them to a specific page. You can do that. You could do that here. Um, now that we have our form, there's a couple ways that we can integrate it. The first is going to be natively like within site, right? You can just use the form option and use the drop down and select this new form. Or if you want to place this form on another website or another platform, you can click the integrate form and this will give you the HTML code that you can then use and paste anywhere else online and it will dynamically pull this form and then anybody that capture any anybody that is captured by this form this information will be piped directly into the site right crm so that way you can use the follow-ups and automations for everything like that if we wanted to integrate this form into our calendar we're going to go into our calendar go into calendar settings click edit and then on the confirmation page We can now have the drop down and select opt-in form, click complete. And now if we go here and look at the form, when we select the time and click continue, you can see now this is the form that we just made with the options that we can select. So in the next, uh, in some of the next videos uh, link below, we'll do what happens when somebody selects this one versus what happens if somebody selects this one. That's all done in the automation section, which we can go uh, in more in depth in a little bit. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.